call you when I need you, but my heart's on fire. You come to me, come to me, wild and wired. When you come to me, give me everything I need. Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams. Speak the language of love like you know what it means. Can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it stronger. You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. You look amazing. I'm crying. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me get rid of my tissue. <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> Please be seated. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Deep breath. I'm good. Good. First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this most happy of days. Love you. It's no accident that each of you are here today and each of you were invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Brandon and Darby. I truly couldn't be more blessed for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes the world a beautiful and marvelous place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day in your life without them. For Darby and Brandon, that happened almost five years ago when they first met. I know how deeply these two care and love one another, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. I think I've had the good fortune to meet most of you here today at some point or another. For those of whom I haven't met, my name is Devin LaHaye. I am Darby's younger brother. I've known Darby my entire life and was honored with the opportunity to officiate their wedding. Thank you both for allowing all of us to be a part of this wonderful day. Now we'll hear some readings from two important people in their lives. A letter from Johnny Cash to June Carter, 1994. We get old and we get used to each other. We think alike. We read each other's minds. We know what the other what the other wants without asking. Sometimes we irritate each other a little bit. Maybe sometimes we take each other for granted. But once in a while, like today, I meditate on it and realize how lucky I am to share my life with the greatest woman I ever met. What's up, buddy? <laughs> 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not rude, and it is not proud. Love is not self-seeking, it does not anger easily, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Thanks, Dylan. Do what you have to do. It's all good. <laughs> As a third party spectator to their developing love since the beginning, it was extremely clear that the two of them represent the perfect pairing because each of them complement the other so well. They balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they're even better. As Mark 10, verse 9 says, Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. God intended for Darby and Brandon to cross paths in life, which leads us to where we are today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of God and those they love most, in order to create a bond 
that cannot be broken. I wish I could tell you a single story about Darby and Brandon that summarizes their relationship and how they enrich each other's lives and the lives of each of us. But the truth is, there isn't one single event that is a good encapsulation of what they mean to me, to each other, and to all of us. But what I do know is that both of them care deeply and passionately for each other. They protect each other. They make each other laugh and they think outside themselves. That time amazingly seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. Also know that it's not just anyone with whom you can have a communication with simply a look or joke around till no end and laugh until you cry with. They do that for and with each other. But it's also been my personal experience with Darby and Brandon that highlight the quality of their love. It doesn't matter if I'm with them in person or simply in a bizarre group text with them. When I'm talking or hanging out with Darby and Brandon, I'm always enjoying myself. And I am certain that's part of what makes them so special to each of us. How happy and content we feel when we are with them. And what I wish for them on their wedding day is, there, is that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete contentment. Full of those moments they wish would never end. And that they continue to make each other smile and laugh as they make each of us do. So without further ado, dearly beloved and honored guests, we have gathered here today to join Brandon Ryan Gibson and Darby Gabrielle LaHaye in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered in lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. The bride and groom have each prepared vows, which they will read now. I'll go first. Okay. All Don't right. screw up. I'll try my best. <laughs> Do you want help? No, I got it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Darby, I knew from the first time I laid my eyes on you that you were special. And I was right. <sighs> this is going to be tough. <laughs> You're fine. Just keep going. <laughs> I'm thankful to have met you at that bonfire. We clicked right away. After a week or two, I remember telling Bridget and Jake that I was going to marry you. And now we made it to the big day. I vow to continue to grow old with you and love you more and more every day. As we spend our lives together. I will love you, respect you, support you, cherish you pray with you, and live a happy life with you. I'm about to be your other half and a great husband. I love you very much, Darby. I love you too. Leonard is cute, so. That's okay. <laughs> Brandon, yesterday after driving past where we met, I realized not everyone is lucky as I am to have met someone like you under the circumstances we did. Some days I still cannot believe that you're my forever. Traveling with you is one of my favorite things, and I cannot wait for all the adventures in our future. From sitting in a tent during a tornado to sitting by the pool in Vegas, there's never a dull moment with you. I love your little excited run. I love the way you always light up a room when you walk in with your big smile. And I love how you look at me when I'm talking to you. You're the gym to my Pam, fake proposing and all. That's nice. <laughs> I promise to always laugh at your terrible jokes, oh. to, li <laughs> to listen to your work stories and pretend I know what you're saying, yep. hold your hand when there's turbulence on the plane, and to always have your back. The dogs and I are so lucky to have you. I love you 3,000. You killed it. <laughs> nice job. <sighs> and now, Brandon, do you take Darby to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holy only unto her forevermore? I do. And Darby, do you take Brandon to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holy only unto him forevermore? I do. <laughs> Brandon and Darby will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and commitment to each other. Rings are a precious metal. They're also made precious by you wearing them. Your wedding rings are special. They enhance who you are. 
They mark the beginning of a long journey together. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other Thanks. without end. Darby, please place the ring on Brandon's left hand and repeat after me. Come on, Jake, hurry up. <laughs> Let me get mine too. Okay. 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 Give me a left hand. <laughs> As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. That's on there. Okay. <laughs> and Brandon, please place the ring on Darby's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, with I this thee wed. I thee wed. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. All she wrote. That's it. <laughs> to make your relationship work will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other your love and marriage grow stronger with time. Continue to grow your faith with the Lord and the relationship with your family. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. Let us pray. Lord, you guided them to each other. Now guide them in this new journey as husband and wife. As they walk down this path, light their way so they may keep their eyes focused on your will. Their hands holding fast to your truth. Their feet firmly planted in your word. And their hearts bound together by your love. This we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Darby and Brandon, by their solemn promises, freely made before God and in the presence of friends and family, have joined themselves together to one another for love and for life. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs>